hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be reviewing my Panasonic DMC ZS 70 K now I got this off of Amazon for $3.97 and it come in a bundle it came with quite a bit of stuff so I'm going to show you the unboxing of it as well and also I'm going to add a, some footage of it and some video footage as well so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have not subscribed already, please subscribe today and comment down below. And I also have a recipe on here as well. So this, this order came pretty quickly. It, I ordered it on a Friday, on a Thursday. And it was supposed to arrive on Monday, but it, it arrived Saturday. So the shipping was really really fast it came with a carrying bag and these are the accessories that come inside the package you have a little tripod monopod um, that you can carry in your hand it's very convenient and it can stretch far I think it's like five feet or five inches I think it's five feet and it also comes with three 32 gigabytes of sim cards and an extra battery you already have one battery that is in the package and you have a small little table tripod <laughs> that you can I guess you can put it on the counter however you do it or you can do go live with it and these are the 32 gigabytes of SIM cards that comes with it. And I think this is really a good price because I was searching on Amazon for this particular camera and it didn't come with all this. Most of the places that I looked and it was a lot more expensive. This right here was $3.97 like I said, which is a really good bargain. It also comes with a photo video suit and it gives you the... Um, access numbers on the back to where you can access it and let's get into this camera I cannot wait I'm not like I said I'm not really a camera person I don't know how to even work a camera but I'm really good at like electronics period so it doesn't take me long to figure it out in the bag I don't think this bag was for this anyway, but it's okay. It was still a cute bag and it was spacious and it was spacious enough to add my other camera as well. So let's open up this Lumix DCZ-S70K. This is 4K video. And I've had it right now for about a week. And I didn't really want to do a video about it until I like experienced it and experienced the functions on it, the pictures, and really just get, you know, close and personal with this camera. So over the past seven days, I do realize that there's so much on this camera that you can learn and it is Wi-Fi so you can transport pictures from your camera to the Panasonic imaging app and it's really simple really easy the screen is also touchscreen as well and when you're not using the camera or when you're transferring files the the lens actually goes back in and it just it kind of sleeps your your camera sleeps <laughs> so that's that's pretty cool though so I'm gonna add this battery to it only like one bar so I did charge it they say do not use any other charger for this camera because of course you might burn out your battery or your battery will no longer stay charged for a long period of time if you use another charger other than the one that they gave you you 
At the bottom, that's where you can locate your SIM card as well as your battery. And then you have your tripod insert as well. Thank goodness that they do not take AA or AAA batteries. These are lithium batteries, which is awesome. So we're gonna add that in there. I think they're lithium batteries. Y'all don't judge me. And in the next clip, I'm gonna show you some of the video pictures that, some of the videos and also my recipe. I did a video on my vegetables that I'm growing. This was not done in 4K. This was just regular mode. And I'm gonna show you the zoom as well. Okay, so our for our tortilla burgers, what we're gonna do is add a tablespoon of garlic powder. I love my garlic, so y'all, I'm gonna go way out. Also, we have a tablespoon of onion powder, or you can use a teaspoon. I will be adding a half a teaspoon to a table teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of black pepper. You don't want too much because it will be really spicy. And this is optional, you don't have to add that. This is just something I add in my ground beef, um, just for flavor, especially my burgers. Then we're gonna mix it all in. We can keep it really simple. I don't know about y'all, how many of y'all hate touching ground beef, especially if you have nails on it? Like I always have this thing to where I feel like that this ground beef's gonna be in, in my nails and stuff, even after I wash my hands. Oh, I can't stand it, but. The job gotta be done, okay? So we're gonna mix everything in and then we're gonna flatten our burgers. I feel like the best way to cook a burger is not to make them thick. The thicker they are, the nastier they are. I feel the thinner they are are the best. So I had some tortillas, some flour tortillas. I sprayed my pan with some canola oil or vegetable oil. And I have it on medium high. And I'm gonna cook it on medium high for about three minutes. It's gonna start bubbling up. You can punch, punch a hole in it with a chopstick or a knife or a fork, whatever you have that is available for that. And then flip it over and do it on the other side as well. Now that our burger is nice and formed, we're gonna just flatten it out really well before it starts to cook. Because if it starts to cook all the way, it's not gonna be able to flatten out. It's actually gonna break apart. So we're gonna flat it out as, as thin as we can, kind of like how Burt, not Burger King, but McDonald does their burgers. You want them really, really thin. So it's gonna be cooking on medium high for 10 minutes on each side. 
After that, we're gonna lay a piece of Swiss cheese because I love Swiss cheese on a burger and let that cheese melt for about two minutes. And once it has melted, you can turn the stove off and let's go ahead and try to prepare our tortilla burger. So this camera does not have an input output for a external mic. And I feel like that this mic does its job as it should. But I also feel like that it's a lot of unnecessary noise in the background. Like it catches everything. And which is, I mean, it's kind of good, but it's kind of not because you have to like blend all that out and with a software. So in my opinion, I, I wish they would have had an external plug-in for a mic on this camera. But overall, I feel like this was a good investment, especially for $397 because most of the cameras that I was looking at, they were just, they were over $500, $600. And that's not something in my budget right now. So back to the burger. I'm going to add some lettuce, some mustard, and then add it, the other tortilla on top. And this is what it came out to look like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you have not subscribed already please subscribe today i love you guys and thanks for supporting this channel and i will be doing some more videos with this camera because i freaking love this camera thanks guys